what is going on everybody we are back on it hunter hunter chapter 374 patreon members if you guys are seeing this on monday congratulations to the lakers i'm doing this sunday night right after the game we finally won ah, i can calm down with that no more stress youtube you guys will uh see this on friday so if you're lakers fans congratulations like me um, I think we will be trying to stream now that there's no more basketball at night. My schedule will be a little bit more open in the evenings. Um, I want to say we will be live either Tuesday or Wednesday night. Hey, John members, if you're seeing this, so just follow me on Twitter or Twitch, you'll get the notification. Jumping into chapter 374 titled Ability. Last chapter, we got introduced to Camille's ability which wasn't her Nenby. Still a lot of questions surrounding her ability. I had people DM me and comment in the YouTube section that now we have seen one of the princes that could kill Miriam, which if you were to think about her ability, yeah. Um, but I don't know the ins and outs of all her abilities. You know, I've been told there's different ways that you could maybe, um, you know, you could damage her but not kill her. Maybe attack her when she's not in Zetsu, since it has to be while she's in Zetsu. But then it just, there's just a there's a lot. But Hunter Hunter goes pretty deep with it though, so I would hope that this gets explained, or maybe it doesn't. Um, <clears throat> if if you were if you were manipulating something that killed her, would it? Would the beast then come to kill you, or just the manipulated object? Um, can it be evaded? Because I saw people arguing, you know, even that low-level soldier was able to see, you know, the Nen beast coming. So someone like Miriam, with, you know, a thousand times the reaction and durability that that guy has... Could he evade it and run from it? Can you cut? You're not going to be able to get rid. I don't know if it's like a um, a knuckle ability where like you can try to outrun it all you want. The APR is still going to follow you. Like, is that cat still going to follow you? Is it kind of like? Because I'm pretty sure knuckles APR it doesn't go away. But if he's not within a certain distance, it doesn't disappear. But once you come back in distance with him again, it's activated. Like, you can get a certain distance away from Knuckle that it won't deactivate, but it won't be active because you're not. So it'll just kind of be, like, in sleeper mode. But if Knuckle is able is ever able to kind of track you down, it'll be activated again. I think that's how Knuckle's ability works, as far as, you know, trying to get rid of it. So with her, like, someone like Miriam, you saw how that bodyguard was able to, like, see it slowly coming. Could he kill her and then use his incredible speed to just, you know get far away as possible will the beast follow um can it be stopped but i mean if people were saying that she has the ability to kill miriam i'm guessing it can't be stopped i don't think it's going to go crush him and he has the durability and strength to you know keep it from crushing him um and then with with piggybacking on that with her ability is there a time period that she needs that energy back with her from the person that killed her or how long can her dead corpse body sit there before you know it's too late so like again our miriam example or even our kilua i'm just thinking of like pure speed to just you know get away if you were to able to evade it for five minutes ten minutes how long can her dead body sit there to a point i mean i know it's still nen after death but like what are we really you know, talking here. But again, we don't know the ins and outs of her abilities as far as, you know. And then if, you, if you're able to, like, starve her out or poison her, um, you don't have to be there when she, when she, you know, drops dead. But if you're the cause of her death, what the, is the cat just going to show up wherever you are? If I inject her with poison... And I'm like, you know, typical anime, oh, you've got, you know, two days to live before the poison takes effect. I hop on a plane. I'm on the other side of the world. She dies. Is the cat going to show up when I'm three continents away on the other side of the world, kill me and give the power? Do you have to be in the vicinity of where she is? There's a lot of technicalities with her abilities or with that ability. Um, and I, I mean, it pretty much makes sense why she doesn't bother in like hand-to-hand -hand combat or... 
honing any of their abilities because this is the only ability she needs. She doesn't even need to do anything. She doesn't need to know how to shoot a gun or throw a punch or block or do anything. Turn off your Zetsu, walk towards somebody, let them kill you, um, and just come back to life. And then it's like, say, her, we've got soldiers here. Say she walks into a firing squad, like Benjamin's men had her pinned down. If multiple bullets hit her at the exact same time, how do we determine which one of the guys was her cause of death? Who does the beast take? There's just a lot with that. Um, so I don't know if that gets explained. Um, if it doesn't, you guys feel free to explain that. There's just a lot of technicalities on her ability. What can and can't be done. Can you evade it with speed? Is there no way to outrun it? Is there a certain time limit? How long can her dead body really be sitting there for? Um, if I inject her with something and then it takes a couple of days to kick in, am I still going to be the cause of her death? Um, you know, all those types of things. We still don't know what her Nen Beast does. And then even though you're in a Zetsu state, um, does the can the Nen Beast still not feed up? Because you're, you're shutting off your aura to, you know, the surrounding environment, but... Um, you still have aura you know, in you, so within, because, like, some of these kids, like, Wobbles and the other, they got, they got their, I guess, I don't want to say chakra nodes, but, like, Nen nodes opened, but they don't know how to turn it off, turn it off, what do they just, you know, they accidentally turn it, they go in Zetsu, they don't even know they're in Zetsu, the beasts just don't work, I thought maybe, I, I don't know, there's a lot of technicalities on the beast as well, but we'll leave it there, let's, um, get ready to dive into this. And we'll just uh, take it from there. So a lot of technicalities on Camille and her ability. Oh, and then Benjamin's. Um, I don't know if it's been confirmed if he can use multiple abilities at once. How many of those can he take? How does he switch ones out? Um, you know, we just got questions on those as well. And then what the hell happened to this disappearing group here? Um, let's figure it out. 374 titled ability. Where am I? Room 1013. What's going on outside? What are you talking about? I'm asking the questions. Know your place. Oh, Jesus. Know your place. You're only a guard commissioned by a lower ranked queen. Karapika, 1013 was empty. If Hanzo's right, the 13th prince is somewhere else. Is somewhere else, room and all. I can't tell if they're hiding or were, or were kidnapped. I have to let them know, but I have a feeling through Virgil would make things complicated. It would be safest and quickest to talk to Biscuit. I doubt Virgil knows anything about Nen, but from his manner of speech, he's not one to readily admit that. Please listen to me. Your room is under the influence of someone's Nen ability. Your entire quarters were transported somewhere else. I would like someone from the Hunter Association to check outside the door. If you keep ignoring me making absurd claims, I'll consider a declaration of war. Don't you underestimate me. I don't need your advice. Bro, put Biscuit on the phone. Hmm. Finally, I can get a word in. What's the situation with the six, su six suspects of 12th Prince Momo's assassination? They all belong to higher rank queen, so we don't get any information. I'd like your status report on the progress of the investigation. Your queen is similarly, similarly lower ranked than the suspects, but since you're not directly involved, if you gain their favor and offer us useful information, I could send you the association member who you've been assigned to 12th Prince Momo. I'm grateful for this gracious offer. May I ask something? What is it? We've already obtained concrete information on the perpetrators of the 12th Prince Momo's assassination. You mean his identity? Yes. I can explain how we found out. We desire a peaceful resolution to, to the seed urn ceremony. For that, a coalition among princes is imperative. We currently have a ceasefire agreement with the 3rd, 5th, and 9th Prince. As you know, I've offered information about and instruction in Nen to all princes. I want to prevent the tragedy of the young princes becoming victim at all cost. As I said, room 1013 is under the influence of somebody's Nen. Please trust us. I promise it will help solve the problem if you can find out what's going on and share what you discover. If you say so, fine. Thank you. We'll have a hunter look outside and report the findings if there's something unusual you can tell us how to approach it and give us the name of the assassin Karapika was lying there though they we didn't get confirmation did we unless i miss some um 
Won't be surprised if I did miss it. There's with Camille's fucking ability drop and everything. I wouldn't be surprised if I missed it. Because I know I think Hanzo was hinting like, oh, we found out when he assassinated that guy. Um, but I don't think we ever got like clear confirmation. Oh, it's blank blank. And this dude's dicking around. Is that what you'd hope to hear? I told you not to underestimate me. A number of violent deaths occurred in room 1014 and everyone found out about Nen. What all Hunter Association members say is Nen exists, but it can't be seen by anyone who hasn't learned it. And on top of that, there was another death at at your Nen class. And when I call you about an incident in room 1013, you claim to know who did it. How could we trust you when it's all so convenient for you? Just like how Dracula tricks people into into inviting him into their houses. How else could I see you? This dude's he's not going to help us. Hanzo, can you speak to him or what? We will not open the door from our side. If that doesn't matter to you, try exposing the assassin. All right. The assassin was Tufty, the guard serving fifth queen Swinko. He committed suicide in his holding cell, and his and he disclosed how he entered the prince's room and his ability in a will. Is that true? I know we I know Hanzo killed that dude in that cell, but like he com he admitted to that? I don't remember guys, I'm sorry. By the way, Tufty was in his bed at the time of the crime. Outsiders would not be privy to this information. I would like you to understand that I'm not spouting baseless nonsense. Considering the considering the power relationship between the fifth queen and eighth prince and higher ranking queens and princes the trial should go off without a hitch. The assassin's name should be officially revealed before long. In all likelihood, he will be treated as if he worked alone. The more higher ranking queens and princes get involved, the more conspicuous it'll be. The cycle of assassinations won't stop. Please reconsider the coalition. Okay, this was helpful. We still don't know what the hell's going on with their room. Is it from the Nen Beast? Because Hanzo went in there, but the Nen Beast was still there. So I don't know if, if this is somebody's ability that has, like, the room cloaked or something like that. Maybe they they just can't account for the Nen Beast. Clearly they're in there, but why can't we see it, you know? Isn't the Hunter Association an organization, an organization using the seed urn ceremony to destroy Kaken from within? Nothing you've said would eradicate my suspicion, but in fact it only deepens. Yo... Get this dude off the phone. He's quite stubborn. He trusts nobody but himself. I figured it seemed Virgil couldn't stand us from the beginning. Or Virgay. I don't know if that says Virgil or not. I don't know where they are, but we know contact is possible. You're the only one who knows what's going on, so I'd like you to stay in room 1013. I'll get back to my body once break is over anyway. Until then, I'll make use of, of this ethereal body to look into things. It concerns me that he didn't try to confirm the source of my information. He may be suspicious of an inside job and didn't mention it on purpose. I don't think it's going to devolve, devolve into a witch hunt at this point, but I'll be prudent. I don't know if they framed that guy. Yeah, I'm just still trying to... I know it was like... I think it was chapter 372, maybe, when that happened. I have to go back and look up if that was that guy, because, I, I mean, that's easy. I thought we were still looking for him, but Hanzo just killed him just out of, like, hatred. Karapika, anything you want me to check out? I'm good. You should prioritize the information you need for 13th Prince Mariam safety. He can't ever put himself first. See ya. All right, Hanzo. Good luck out there, buddy. Karapika, I'd like you to tell me what you know about Room 1013 being under the influence of Nen. <sighs> Why are you listening to my phone conversations? Room 1013 and everyone inside has been transported somewhere, and we don't know if it's defensive or if it was an attack. Abilities that separate a space are a forte of emitters and conjurers. Emitters can move space itself, and conjurers can create a space with various rules. Stop interfering. Is it a strategy or is he waiting? Yeah, this dude's just on standby over here. I think it's an act of defense by 13th Prince Mar Mariam's Nen Beast. I think so as well. I think it is as well. News from Hanzo will be key. All right, keep me in the loop, of course. Okay, 37 hours and 30 minutes. Hasn't even been two days. 
Okay, I'm not going to dive into this here, uh, but it looks like these are all the princes. Um, looks like a lot of text. <laughs> Tuesday, are these the two? No, no, no. One of the twins is the one that got killed, correct? And the other one was the... Katie. <sighs> Someone's about to die, aren't they? Because this is a picture of the this is a picture of them right of the two sisters the the twins I think the blonde one's killed she's crying over it I think and then it looks like we've got a sound of Nim don't tell me they're about to take her ass out too oh shit what's this a door in the wall I feel like I've seen this door before it's the door to the magic worm. The playground equipment we played in when we were little. What the hell's going on here? What? Where is she about to come out at? What's happening? That's right, a magic tunnel back then. We pretended we could go anywhere through here. I don't like what this is about to lead to. Let's see what's uh, down here. Is that she's supposed to be dead? This is the chick, right? I thought. It... Like, so is this her Nen Beast creating this room? Is this her Nen creating this? What the hell? But she makes it seem like people are going to be able to hear her, so like it can't be too hidden. Oh no! So this is the this is her sleeping. The one with the black hair is crawling through. And these are her bodyguards, I'm guessing. Tenth Prince Kacho's heartbeat has shot up. Did you notice? Yeah. Oh no. Oh fuck, Melody. She's able to hear it, and they hear it so they can tell her. Oh god. Tenth Prince Kacho, are you all right? Why? Tenth Prince Kacho, please rely on us more. Relay on us more. It's our job to protect you. Yeah. It's your job, so just do your best and get paid. Just wander around and pretend that you're worried about me like you did now. She's so strong, her heartbeat shows that she believes it's her duty to do this. I feel pride in my work. I don't have anyone close to me I'd want to protect with my life like you do. But if protecting someone is my mission, I'm prepared to offer my life. Don't talk like you know everything. Have your parents ever told all your siblings to kill each other? I'm not putting my life on the line because I want to. You're right. Why do you even think I'm doing this for someone else? Tenth Prince Kacho, may I talk to you about Nen? Should be told the tr this girl should be told the truth. Hold on now. <clears throat> now I'm a bit confused here. Kacha wasn't the one that died. Scroll back up here. Kacha wasn't the one that died. Um, it was what was the name of the one Kacha? What was the name of uh? uh um, the name of the girl. Give me a suicide. Oh, keep. What was her name? How could we trust you, Dracula? And I'd open the door. A number of violent deaths. I told you not to nurse me. We'll have a look under. I'm scrolling so far up. We just had her name a minute ago. Ninth Prince. I want to prevent a tragedy from Young Prince. Young Prince. Already obtained concrete information. Okay, Momo. Momo was the one that was killed. So what the hell am I looking at right here? Are these two different princes? Eleventh prince, two queen, royal guards, and servants. And what the hell is this girl crying over? I don't know. You guys are going to have to fill me in on whatever the hell this actually is going on here. Is this black-haired chick a prince or not? I can't tell. But... This silhouette that uh, Melody is speaking to looks like the blonde-haired girl that was in there hiding. So I'm not sure. We'll see. Oh, we've got this dude again. 
Eighth Prince Sales Guardian Spirit Beast is a manipulator. It's a diffusive induction type and is weakly compelling but can control many people. The white smoke it exhales, I surmise, the more you breathe it in, the more goodwill to more. Yeah, so he's just like lulling these girls. The presence of motion affect the amount of smoke and area of influence, but it averages a radius of 7 meters. Once you've breathed more than a certain amount, a clone appears above your head. Oh, does that mean, so I'm guessing that means you're marked like under the influence. It in turn makes contact with someone else and makes more clones. It's a contagious carry of goodwill towards the prince. And he's just got these girls drugged, pretty much. There are three possible goals of this multiplication of the Nen Beast. Control and increase allies, erode and decrease enemies. Yeah. Steal something from those enlisted to increase the power of the Nen Beast itself for the user. Considering his nature, his desire he desires a harem, my hypothesis should be correct. The attendant guards are highly loyal to begin with. It took half a day to generate a duplicate with these girls. On the same shift as me and guarding 16 hours a day has been unknowingly breathing in the drifting smoke. So what has he been doing? How's he been breathing? Third Queen Tongzo Lee's guard with zero loyalty to, to sail if I can find out how many hours it takes for a duplicate to appear over his head. I'll unleash the predator. If it's effective against the Guardian Spirit Beast, I can contribute to the first Prince Benjamin's victory. Stranger Predator, a conjured ability. When Rahan determines his target and activates his Nen, a predator starts growing inside him. The more accurate he is in analyzing and understanding his target's ability, the easier it grows into his target's predator, and the more superior to the target's ability it will be. Its power grows stronger the more accurately he predicts the ability from a state of complete ignorance, so it's powerless against simple reinforcer and emitter attacks. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, info there. What's wrong? You dropped it. Pick it up. Um, well, it didn't come from us. A coin dropped out of nowhere. It's true. Oh, uh, shit. It fell right in front of our eyes. I don't need to offer information to those who don't know about or can't see it or can't see Nen. It's true the coin appeared out of thin air. Oh shit, this is his uh, Nen beast. But from Shang Li's guardian spirit beast's mouth. And now we're getting to see kind of all the uh not all, but we're starting to go through a couple seeing the spirit beast i mean we just got all the <clears throat> i mean we didn't get accurate information but we've got a little bit of information as far as uh the gluttonous one letting out the smoke and everything so what do these coins mean and why are they no oh fuck <laughs> that's the end of the chapter i was gonna see what are these what do these coins mean why are they numbered what's interesting is like nobody can well they can see the nen beast um well i guess maybe that's not interesting because if they can see the nen beast and he drops the coin but the coin is visible to everybody um, another one already appeared yesterday, but only I noticed it. So what do the coins mean? Why are they, do the numbers mean, do they grant you anything? Like, I don't know if they grant you like a spare life or an ability or something like that. So we got this wild predator ability. I remember he had been talking about, uh, he only needed like X amount of time or just a, just a small window and he'd be able to kill the prince. So the more he's able to sit there and analyze the depths of somebody's ability, the more, I guess, precise his kill chance can be. So I guess at the very beginning, without knowing anything, the chance of him killing somebody is 0%. I'm guessing the more information he gains about their ability, the more the predator can build up a, I guess, counter to it. But like, it, the, the predator, is it going to be something he... It says it's a conjured ability. Um... Does it just fuel his body as the vacuum for the predator, or does the predator actually come out and then attack? Um, yeah, so this dude's just got like Medusa smoke sirens going off here, just lulling everybody to basically, like we don't say it, is he trying to do it to gain more allies? Is he trying to do it to it so it slowly gets rid of enemies? Or is it to steal or and gain more power? Um, so we got an explanation on that Nan Beast. We got to see Zhang Li's what that coin has to do with anything we don't really know yet and what the hell is going on here with these girls kacho 
Because there, there was a group of twins, right? Is this them? The dark haired and the, the blonde hair? She's over here talking about something appeared like something when we were kids, but like clearly it's really here. So I'm guessing this girl knows how to use Nen and maybe, you know, something that she has affinity to, she just created it. She has her own kind of like Nove portal to where only she and maybe her twin can be aware of and see. Um, I'm not quite sure, but what was she crying over? Who's Katie? And why are we crying? How does this door just appear? Eleventh Prince, two Queen, semi guards, royal guards. Because this looks like them here. But. Hmm. Oh no, this is them here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have the same mom. This is 10th and 11th. So I'm guessing they share rooms. So that ability. You know, maybe it spreads out. And you would have to, it had to be something you'd notice to recognize. But it's got multiple portals and things here. Hmm. And then, so whose heart rate did she feel increase? She felt the blonde girl's heart rate increase. That looks like the silhouette that Melody is talking to. I'm sure we'll get kind of clarification on that as we go. Um, and then, yeah, we still have no idea what's up with the 13th room, what they build, if it's from somebody. That's making them look vanished, or somebody has literally moved them. Um, or if it's the Nen Beast. I'm going to say it's the Nen Beast, simply because the Beast was still there. So maybe the Beast is casting this kind of like Genjutsu projection over people. Um, but I do wonder, because they're still able to make contact like on the phone. Can If you're inside whatever this cloak is, can you see what's going on outside of it? Kind of like a Harry Potter... But they put up like kind of like an invisible little wall to where it cloaks you on the inside, but you could see what's going on on the outside. Well, if that was the case and they didn't really move and they were sitting in that room, they would have seen Hanzo when he walked in and there wasn't any mention of that on the phone. Hmm. Yeah, so we'll have to see. We will have to see. And then you guys can give me clarification about the killer. I thought that was just somebody they took into custody. I didn't know that, you know, it was, you know, open and shut case we you know we got it taken care of we got the guy he actually killed himself you know we're good to go don't worry we we got it taken care of um because i'm pretty sure it was hanzo that killed him in his cell right we weren't even sure really what it was that happened Here, i just clicked on 372 i want to see if i can actually find that real quick oh here okay so hanzo leaves his room okay so he's in the cell now, is he in a jail cell here, or is he just... This looks like this is a jail cell. I'm here to help. First Prince Benjamin wants to see you. First Prince Benjamin, this is a headhunt. We made a deal with the army. Next door is going to confess to the murder in his suicide note. Oh, which was true. What? But for the court records, we'll need the specific killing method. You'll have to disclose your secret. I thought he was just going there bluffing and trying to get information. Nen abilities and Nen Beast have become public, so now they're officially admissible as evidence in court. A detailed reveal of the ability on the note would be the perfect touch. I see. My ability is doppelganger. Astral projection. The touch. If I close my eyes and lay prone, my doppelganger can do anything within 20 meters. This is Hanzo speaking, correct? Nago Mam is drugged right now. Help me stage the suicide. Sure. But how do you know I... It was a 50% shot. I just wanted to test you first. Yeah, I remember getting hung up on that conversation the first time. Like, so is this the guy? Is this not the guy? Why are we staging? I don't know. I don't want to get too deep into it. You guys can... If it's not spoilerish, you guys can feel free to explain that. We'll kind of go from there. But we'll end it there. What's uh, the title of Chapter 375? I'm interested in that title. Do we have a title? I don't want to scroll down too far. We'll, we'll just leave it. <laughs> we'll leave it right there. Um, solid, solid chapter. Again, just those questions. We're getting introduced to... We're maybe not getting concrete information on the Nen Beast abilities, but we're slowly getting a little bit of information to where we can kind of piece together some things. This ends on what? 391. Wow. We're coming up on like 15 or so chapters left. Oof. Still no word of uh, any continuation, huh? How long has it been? 
think everyone tells me it's been like 10 years since chapter three. No, it hasn't been 10 years. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe that's an exaggeration. I know, I think it's at least been three. I don't know if it's been five or more since 390 came out. Does he stamp these with a the date? Hmm, I'm not seeing a date, but yeah, we'll just go from there. Patreon members, you guys will see this Monday. YouTube, you guys will see this on Friday. Again, if we're able to get this to 100 likes, we'll pump out two chapters next week. If not, no worries. We'll just keep chugging along and doing what we can. Uh, YouTube, double avatar. Patreon, early access, double avatar. Um, Mob Psycho, we will be finishing in two, three weeks. Two weeks, and then we'll take a break, and then we'll start Death Note. Um, and then by the time we start getting into Death Note, Attack on Titan is going to be starting, so I can't wait for that as well. Appreciate it. Like, share, favorite, subscribe. Go Lakers as always. <laughs> Y'all take it easy. Have a good week, weekend, as always.